Anyone who follows pop music will remember the huge smash Martha and the Muffins made on the Canadian music scene last year. They were a trendy, relatively unknown band who'd been popular with Toronto's Queen Street West art crowd. But suddenly, they scored a top 10 album with their first release, Metro Music, and tied with Anne Murray at the 1981 Juno Awards for Single of the Year with their hit song, Echo Beach. Mark Gain, who wrote the song, was quite amused with Echo Beach's success. It was never designed to be a hit, and it, I think that was the most interesting thing about that song for me, is watching it go through this process whereby it became uh, an international hit. You know? And uh, it, al it always amazed me. I think the, the idea that it, it still intrigues me the most is that all over the world there's people with that record. Martha and the Muffins have just recently released their third album, entitled This is the Ice Age. Apart from the current single Women Around the World at Work, Ice Age is a clear departure from their earlier pop sound. Riding on bicycles down on the freeway, leaving distorted cars trailing behind. We move like bullets, no danger, no danger, we take that for granted. Cross the bridge and let the night be behind, I can feel it in my heart. We get your songs and the scenery's you. With the sun for the day. Internal pressures within Martha and the Muffins on their way up saw the departure of three members, including Martha No. 2, Martha Ladley, bass player Chris Finkel, and most recently, drummer Tim Gain. They've all successfully been replaced. The band has solidified and are now working towards a fourth album and a North American-wide tour. Next on the new music, Alice Cooper.